A number of things to watch out for as we get closer now to launch and a few things at launch and a few changes uh, for people who are familiar with Arian 5. If you look at the top of the launch, you can't see them very easily from here, but there's two yellow things clamping on at the top three quarters of the way up. We call those the cryogenic arms. Uh, what's their job, Tina? There's a better shot of them. Yeah. So we are fueling the rocket with liquid oxygen and hydrogen that we sent uh, through, through through these arms. And they uh, the propellants actually have to be kept at very low temperatures, liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees and like liquid oxygen at minus 180. And uh, we still lose uh, some of these uh, propellants through evaporation. Right now we cannot really see it because uh, we are in daylight, otherwise you would see smoke coming out. Um, so we need to top up the tanks until the last seconds and uh, we do the exact same thing that we do here on the on the upper stage as you can see also on the lower stage here we have the pictures of the of the lower stage actually the fueling uh, system on the lower stage and um, so these massive fueling and pressurization systems they will be disconnected and retracted at liftoff it's a command that is sent just 300 milliseconds before we send the command to ignite the boosters and uh, another thing to look out for now, uh, just before liftoff, is that seven seconds before liftoff, the Vulcan engine will be ignited, and that allows us actually to check it is running smoothly before uh, we ignite the boosters. And once the boosters are switched on, of course, we lift off, there's no holding us back. And another thing uh, that you might see are the plume effects of these boosters, so the extreme heat of the booster waves uh, onto the launch pad need to be managed. And here we have a look at, at Vulcan, so we will see it uh, firing up in a minute. This is the main Vulcan engine on the main stage. Indeed, indeed. And we see here that uh, we are getting a bit lonely in Jupiter too. Everyone is uh, yes, all the teams to the terrace. <laughs> Everyone going out onto the balcony to watch the launch in real life. We're getting close now, coming up to the one minute mark. The range operations manager ready, getting ready to call that out. À tous de DDO, attention pour moins d'une minute. Top I zero moins d'une minute. We are one minute to launch. Our best wishes to all the Ariane 6 teams and everyone who's been working so hard for today. Good luck, everyone. Go Ariane 6, gute Reise and bon voyage. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage 2SR, décollage. Nominal. Trajectoire nominale. Europe's new rocket. Pilotage calme, trajectoire nominale. Ariane 6 has left the pad and is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. The range operations manager is telling us that everything is going according to plan. Tina. And I didn't know my heart can bump so fast. <laughs> oh my God. Projector we nominal, pilotage, calm. We're rumbling now. And Jupiter too, we hear her. It's quite a sight. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is happening. It's the most incredible feeling we have. Uh, we're on the edge of tears here in the in the commentary box because this is a big day and a big moment. Trajectoire nominal. Actually, the building's rumbling around us now. 
And look at look, these are the live images from the from the cameras on board. We're looking at the booster. We're looking down. We're looking down. Uh, one of the two boosters. We can see the flames coming out of that booster because, of course, the boosters. pour la station Saint Jean, propulsion nominal. Boosters are doing all the work. He's telling us that everything is going according to plan and everything is nominal. And look at the visibility. We might even be able to nominal, see this operation. Nominal. We have clear skies tonight, to this afternoon. We had rain all day, but the clouds parted. The two dots there, the boosters. There, we see them falling off. Separation des USR. Confirmed. We have booster separation. So, wow, that's the first clapping here that we see. Uh, what a beautiful liftoff. And our cameras we on see board. Nominal, trajectoire nominal. These oh. pictures are coming in with a 20 seconds delay, which is why we have them now. Look at this, how they fall off. Wow. Amazing, amazing. So these boosters, they have transported us 60 kilometers high. <laughs> and we can okay. see that dot is the, nominal. telling us that the trajectory is normal, everything going according to plan. That's the engine on the main stage that you can see there. And we've got a camera inside now. What are we looking at here, Tina? Oh, yeah, looking so back down this, at the earth. This was actually a camera inside the interstage, so we will be able to see when the lower stage separates. That's coming up. But now we have actually lost half our mass already because the boosters have burned almost 300 tons of fuel in two minutes. Time. Calm, trajectoire nominal. Everything nominal, and as we're the getting, operations manager says. Yes, and we're getting close now to the next thing, which will be the jettisoning of the fairing, the fairing being the nose cone of the launch vehicle, uh, which is where the Passengers are sitting. Oh, Separation de la coiffe. You even see the... Wow, that's amazing. We had confirmation there that the fairing has been jettisoned. Yes, so the fairing that was protecting our spacecraft uh, withstands all the pressure and the heat. And uh, once we stuck out the nose out of the atmosphere, we didn't need her anymore. And it has been jettisoned. So what we're looking at now is the main stage, which is what we're burning and on the right hand of the screen. Us, and this is the live camera from orbit, and we see the <laughs> fairing falling off there. And Amazing pictures. You see how it twists? I believe, Tina, that I'm right in saying that's nominal, propulsion nominal. Exactly. And we also see on the screen, on the right side, actually, the telemetry. So on the top, you see the trajectory. Um, so in, in green, the planned trajectory, and in yellow, um, the actual flight trajectory, everything going nominal. So you have uh, altitude over time. And in the middle, you see our ground track. You see exactly where we are over the Earth. And on the right side, you see our altitude. We're already in 140 kilometers. Trajectoire nominal, il reste moins de 3 minutes de propulsion du Vulcan. 2.4 kilometers per second. And the main stage is, uh, is operating. It is, and you can see it here. It's a great big tank of fuel. Indeed. So it is a 32 meter uh, high um, cylinder, uh, weighs 23 tons when it's empty, and it can carry 154 tons of cryogenic propellant, supporting the upper stage and the boosters. Uh, for our technical audience, we don't have any common bulkhead anymore, so uh, we have now two separate tanks. And this makes the handling of the pressures a bit easier than on Ariane 5. And it's burning a very powerful Propulsion engine. Nominal, trajectoire conforme à l'attendu. He's telling us that the nominal. trajectory is normal. Exactly. Yeah, Vulcan engine uh, is now simplified, uh, mainly for cost reduction reasons with regard to Ariane 5. The nozzle manufacturing is completely different, and uh, the gas generator is made of additive manufacturing. And the Vulcan has a new propulsion du Vulcan. challenge telling us that there's two minutes left of propulsion on the Vulcan engine. Mm -hmm. So the Vulcan engine has a new challenge because the booster plumes impact uh, at liftoff. Uh, they're actually so high that um, the thermal protection around the nozzle actually had to be uh, beefed up a bit. And we have tiles now around the nozzle. And the nozzle itself also has a new manufacturing method. So it's, it's a more uh, simple and cost-effective design right now. We're getting closer now to the next phase, which is switching off the engine and jettisoning the main stage, because of course we want to lose each section of the rocket as we climb higher. The uh, 
right we are the faster we go so we're separating the next stage but that's actually quite a complex process isn't it indeed because you have to detect first that uh, the rocket is actually ready for separation this is done by the guidance algorithm and afterwards uh, the Vulcan engine is cut off and six seconds later only we will see separation of the stage initiated by pyro commands and uh, we do that um, by actually extending a set of springs and uh, the push that the lower stage does to get rid of uh, the upper stage or the other way around to push itself uh, away from the upper stage has the same uh, push or the same uh, thrust as we call it as the Vinci engine but it only does that during 0 0.2 seconds.